Madam President, as many of us know, our country is mourning the loss of a great man. A man who I believe was one of the greatest of the greatest generation. Yesterday we all received the sad news that George Schultz, Secretary Schultz, died in his home in California yesterday. He was a hundred years old. He celebrated his hundredth birthday in December. He was a man of great intelligence, of courage, of integrity, exemplified service, was great about this nation and hope for our country and not just for our country, but countries around the world. Democracy itself was something that this great American promoted. He leaves behind his wife, Charlotte, three daughters, two sons, 11 grandchildren, nine great grandchildren. Of course, our prayers for his family are going out to all of them during, these, during this difficult time. Madam President, there are people who have lived history and there are people who have made history. Secretary Schultz made history. He lived a life in full. And he was always giving back to his country, to his fellow Americans. He was one of only two, I believe, uh, American citizens who held four different cabinet posts in the U.S. government. He was OMB director, Secretary of Labor, Secretary of the Treasury, and most importantly, Secretary of State for almost the entire two terms of President Reagan's tenure during some very perilous times in our country's history. As Secretary of State, there is no doubt that Secretary Schultz, along with President Reagan, did so much to win the Cold War, to bring down the Berlin Wall eventually, to successfully not just defeat in the Cold War the Soviet Union, but to foster the infrastructure of democracy around the globe. And if you read about his exploits, if you read his autobiography, you'll see so much of what George Schultz did for our country, which was so important. It's not an exaggeration to say we're living in a more peaceful and prosperous world. There's no doubt we have challenges because of men like Secretary Schultz. Now, one of the great honors of my lifetime was to get to know Secretary Schultz over the last several years. I had the opportunity to meet with him many, many times and to listen and learn. And his mind was so sharp, the stories that he would tell. And this, to me, is another great example of leadership. People who, even in the end years of their life, are still mentoring others, whether senators or students. He would regularly teach classes out at Stanford as part of the Hoover Institution out there. He kept writing books until his 100th birthday. I had the opportunity to wish him a happy birthday in December and was even on a Zoom call with him. And I will say, in my experience with him, certain things kept coming out, themes of a life, service, of course, patriotism, integrity, trust, and also the United States Marine Corps. You know, um, Madam President, when it, when it comes to the issue of integrity, you look at Secretary Schultz's career, his life, and he always had integrity as the highest principle. And he talked about that, not just integrity to do the right thing, which meant sometimes saying no, but he did this throughout his career. And then at the very twilight of his career, he talked about not just integrity, but trust, and trust as the coin of the realm of a good life of service, and uh, at, as he was turning 100 in December, he put out a little pamphlet. It's right here. I read the whole thing. I encourage my colleagues to read it. Life and learning after 100 years. Trust is the coin of the realm. 
reflections on trust and effective relationships across a new hinge of history. George P. Schultz, December 13th, 2020. Who does that when there are 100 to put out a pamphlet on trust? Well, George Schultz does that. In the pamphlet, Secretary Schultz wrote that one lesson he learned as a child and retained over and over again was the importance of trust. As he says in this pamphlet, when trust is in the room, whatever room that was, the family room, the school room, the coach's room, the office room, the government room, or the military room, good things happen. When trust was not in the room, good things did not happen. And I think certainly we can learn that here in the United States Senate where trust is the coin of the realm here. There's no doubt about that. This idea of trust is a lesson that stayed with him throughout his career. And a concept that he believes when you read all his writings and talk to him, the way so many of us have had the opportunity to, he believed helped lead to the end of the Cold War. Trust. President Reagan, General Secretary Gorbachev together eliminated intermediate range nuclear whip weapons, which laid down the foundation for the peaceful end of the Cold War, in which the United States was victorious. So, Madam President, at the end of my remarks, I'd like to submit for the record this pamphlet by Secretary Schultz on trust. Without objection. Even till the end of his days, he was still looking at providing guidance to, to the Senate. Uh, I had a talk with him, as I mentioned, just about five weeks ago about him coming to testify in front of the Armed Services Committee, a tradition started by another great American, John McCain, chairman of the Armed Services Committee, was every January, January we would start with some statesmen with a lot of knowledge and history. And George Schultz was always part of that, testifying in front of the Armed Services Committee at 98, 99 years old, with Henry Kissinger, the junior man in the room who was just a year or two younger. Senator Reid and I were just talking recently about bringing Secretary Schultz back to once again testify in front of the Armed Services Committee and I'm sad to say we have lost this great American before he could do that again. But let me conclude with this, Madam President. The other thing I loved about George Schultz is that he was first and foremost a United States Marine. Until the end of his life, he spoke about the pride he gained from serving in combat in World War II as a Marine Corps officer and the many, many lessons he learned throughout his life from his service in the Marines. First time I ever met the secretary, he went into his office, he thought it would be a bunch of pictures with famous people, there were some of those, but there was Marine Corps recruiting posters everywhere. Secretary of State, former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, another great American, recounts in her excellent op-ed about the legacy of Secretary Schultz just yesterday in the Washington Post. And he told her that being Secretary of State was the best job in government when she got nominated to be Secretary of State. He called her to give her some advice. They were very good friends. He was a mentor of hers as well. He said it's the best job in government, Secretary of State. And then he corrected himself. It's the best job except for when I was a Marine Corps captain. That's what he told Condi. So he was first and foremost a Marine, but for all these reasons, Madam President, I will be calling up a resolution, a bipartisan resolution, to honor the life, achievements, and legacy of the Honorable George P. Schultz, who has done so much for our great nation. We're working on this. Hopefully we'll get it passed in the Senate here soon. Should, it's very bipartisan already. I was hoping to get it done tonight. But um, when great Americans leave us, 
it's really important that we reflect and look on the life of service, commitment, patriotism, honor, courage, and learn from that. And though, even though he's gone after 100 years, I know I'm going to be learning from George Schultz for a long, long time. And I sure hope and I expect and uh, certainly believe that my colleagues here in the United States Senate and our fellow Americans will be as well. I yield the floor.